So, hello, welcome to lecture series on uh, data mining. Uh, in today's lecture, uh, let us uh, discuss about uh, the topic uh, data pre-processing. So, I hope everyone is aware of what uh, data pre-processing is about. Uh, so, initially, you will be given with the raw data and uh, you need to perform analysis on the raw data. So, simply performing uh, analysis on the uh, raw data will be a time-consuming process. So, uh, data pre-processing is mainly done to ensure the uh, quality of data. So, what is meant by quality of uh, data is that there are several measures to ensure the data quality such as uh, accuracy, completeness, consistency, uh, timeliness and uh, believability and interpretability. So, by uh, means of accuracy, we mean that whether the given data is correct or wrong. So, accuracy uh, states if the data is correct or wrong and by means of completeness, uh, there should not be uh, any missing value for any particular attribute. For example, in a table, if you are having list of pupils and uh, each pupil will be associated with set of attributes. So all the attributes should hold value. There should not be any empty, uh, empty or null values for a given attribute, which states uh, the measure completeness. And by means of consistency, uh, if you have made any changes to the attribute, it should be uh, reflected in the data set. And by means of timeliness, uh, the data should be press available for analysis in a time, on it in the uh, correct time. For example, let us for, take for example, uh, you want to calculate the monthly bonus for the uh, sales employee. And if the manager fails to update the uh, sales count on time, it is not, it is not able to calculate the monthly bonus and uh, this reduces the quality of data though it is accurate though it is complete and consistent and uh, believability states how trustable the data is even though it is correct if the data is not trusted by the user though it is accurate and uh, complete it does not uh, account for the measure data quality and by means of interpretability how the data is understood by the end user so if the uh, Though the data is correct, if the end user understands the, understands the data in a wrong way, data quality is again a question mark. So there are several steps in data pre-processing such as the data cleaning, data integration, data reduction, uh, data transformation and uh, data discretization. By means of data cleaning, it involves filling in uh, missing values, removing noisy data and identifying or removing the outliers and uh, resolving inconsistency if, if there are any. So once the data is cleaned, we co collect data from different sources. So the data from uh, multiple databases, data cubes or files are integrated together to form a single data set. And this integrated data set will be larger in size. So we have to reduce the uh, size of the data to make the data mining process more efficient, which is done in the uh, data reduction stage. In the data transformation stage, since the data is uh, collected from multiple sources, uh, the format of uh, data uh, varies since it may be stored in different format in different uh, databases. And uh, in the data transformation stage, the data is collected with, and reduced is transformed to the form suitable for data mining. So in this uh, lecture, let us see data cleaning in detail. As I have said previously, data cleaning involves removing noisy data, filling in missing, missing values and uh, dealing with the uh, inconsistencies. So what for if the real world data is dirty, we have to clean the data. So if it contains any incorrect data, it may be this incorrect data may be due to human error or computer error, or it may be due to uh, transmission error or maybe the instrumentation fault. And uh, by the data is incomplete is that if there are any missing values, so if the attribute is lacking any value or if uh, it is lacking uh, attribute of interest or if any attribute contains only aggregate data, it means the data is incomplete or missing. So data cleaning also has to de deal with such kind of data. Uh, by means of noisy data, if there are any errors or outliers present in the data, for example, uh, if we consider salary of an employee and if the data is entered as minus 100, the salary can, ne can never be negative, right? So this data is considered as noisy data. Such data has to be uh, removed from the database. 
and by means of inconsistencies the data may be present in different format in di different database for example in uh, one database the age is uh, stored as 42 and if in other database the birthday is stored as uh, uh, in the date month and year format it can be considered as inconsistent so all these data has to be uh, dealt with and intentional is that uh, if we consider a drop down list initially one value will be present as default like jan 1 for everyone's birthday and if you are not uh, changing the data though the value is present it is not correct so it is intentionally left as it is by the user this is also con considered as dirty data and it has to be removed And it, so, so this is uh, about uh, dealing with missing data. Uh, so, so the data may not be available. Many people have no recorded value for several att attributes. For example, uh, customer uh, income may be missing in the sales data. So this may be due to the uh, inconsistencies with other recorded data, or it may be due to any uh, uh, instrument fault or the data may not be entered due to some sort of misunderstanding or it may not be registered if any changes has been made. So these missing data need to be in interfered. And uh, so how to handle this missing data is either we can ignore the tuple. So we always ignore the tuple when uh, class label is missing during the classification process. And if you are not, uh, if you are sure that uh, it is not effective and the percentage of missing value for any particular attribute varies considerably, we will ignore the tuple or we may fill in the missing value manually. So though it is a tedious process and if the number of missing attributes is very minimal, we can fill in it manually or we can automatically fill with the global constant. We can fill it with attribute mean in case of uh, customer salary. If any one attribute if the salary of any one particular person is missing, we can fill it with the attribute mean uh, or we can fill it with the most probable uh, value. This probable value cal can be calculated using a decision tree induction or Bayesian formula. And uh, noisy data is, uh, it can be any random error or variance in the measured variable. These incorrect attribute values may be due to uh, uh, data entry problems or it can be due to uh, data transmission problems or any inconsistencies. So other, there are other uh, problems which also require data cleaning such as if there are any duplicate records or if there are any inconsistent and incomplete data, we need to perform data cleaning. So noisy data can be uh, dealt with using the process called binning or regression cluster. And it can also be uh, dealt with the, with the help of human inspection. So in the next uh, lecture series, we will look into other data pre-processing techniques uh, such as uh, data integration, reduction and transformation. Hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you.